In a tragic twist of fate, it has emerged that the newly evacuated area was rebuilt after being devastated by an explosive eruption of Kilauea in 1960. Residents and holidaymakers in the vacation land development and adjacent Kapoho community were told to leave after officials observed the lava picking up speed and heading to Kapoho Beach. Lots and vacation land are advised to evacuate. You are at risk of being isolated due to possible lava inundation of Beach Road. Lava has already cut off a larger road, Highway 132, and around 2005. 500 people have had to evacuate their homes in the Lalani Estates and the number of residents being evacuated from the Kopoho and Vacation Land areas is not yet known, but it encompasses approximately 500 homes. EPA The newly evacuated area was rebuilt after being devastated by an explosive eruption in 1960. Hawaii County GIST red dots indicate lava flow direction. Kapoho is on the right. Reuters, Getty Lava has been fountaining hundreds of feet into the air. This is the latest development in the unfolding chaos caused by Kilauea, on the 28th day of what geologists are calling one of the biggest upheavals in a century. From this highly active volcano, a state of emergency has been refreshed by Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim, allowing for a further 60 days of temporary shelters and other relief projects to proceed on an expedited basis, without the reviews and permits normally required. It is estimated that 128 structures on Big Island have been destroyed, approximately 75 of which are homes. The island's geothermal plant was inundated with lava this week, after officials raced to cap the wells which run thousands of meters into the Earth's core to tap into extremely hot water and steam, used to run turbines and produce 25% of the Big Island's electricity. This period of explosive activity is being cited as an unprecedented event, as there are two eruptions occurring simultaneously, the eruption at its summit crater and along a six-mile string of 24 fissures down the volcano's east flank. Ash plumes periodically pouring from the summit have spouted high enough into the atmosphere to be carried far over the Pacific Ocean, with observers in the Marshall Islands, Micronesia and GOM detecting traces of VOG, volcanic smog, a sulfurous gas likened to battery acid. This period of activity began on May 3, though Kilauea has in fact been in a constant state of eruption since 1983. No fatalities have been reported, but one man was seriously injured when he was hit in the leg by a lava bomb.